monitor on streams in the metro area to understand how pollution moves from the landscape to the large rivers in our area. The pollution that runs off of our urban landscapes or agricultural landscapes flows through streams, eventually makes its way to the Mississippi River. The Mississippi River takes it all the way to the Gulf of Mexico and it becomes part of the dead zone off of the coast of Louisiana. Our Twin Cities metro area pollution is directly connected to shrimp farmers in Louisiana. When you're dealing with a regional resource that many communities depend on, you've got to take a long view and you have to have a more shared view of how to maintain this resource over time. And I think the Met Council can play a really important role there. It's got to be challenging and, and, and in fact frightening to get on the bus and, and really not know where you're going. Hey, hola, habla español? Uh, un poco. Hey, is this the bus that goes to Walmart? Yes. Sí. Muchas gracias. De nada. If you're willing to make an effort, people are, are more than willing to try to help you. Metro mobility and transportation in general is absolutely essential. People need to get out. They need to belong to the community and be part of that community. There's so many things that I don't have control over that I rely on other people and but anything that does give you more control, more, more power to be independent and allows you to contribute to making things better for yourself is always a real good thing. On my job when I tell them what I do, they're always like, oh, that's not sewage. It's like, yeah, that's sewage. Well, you don't actually go down there. Yeah, we go down there. All of the people that I meet in my day-to-day -day work are hardworking, dedicated individuals. These people work really, really hard, and it's not glamorous, and it's not comfortable, and it's not clean. They still come to work every day, and they buckle down, and they break their backs, and they work very, very hard to get the job done. It's not easy. You know, it's not a job for everybody. You gotta be physically able. Uh, you gotta tolerate some smell. Light will really transform, I think, the way that businesses and we think about um, how we create community. If people can get to you all different ways, bike, walk, train, bus, they will come. Our customers that came to us and said, we'd like to get on your waiting list, almost all of them said one of the key reasons is because light rail is stopping right in front of your front door. We like the immediate access to transportation to downtown St. Paul, downtown Minneapolis, switch to the blue line, head to the airport, have access to the world. My experience riding the Green Line, every time I do, I see random people who don't know each other talking to each other. It's happened every time on the train. I see people that like, you know, have taken the train the whole way over from Minneapolis to St. Paul, and by the end they're like, okay, you know, like, good luck with the kids getting to college, you know, it's like they've become friends by the end of that train ride. People, places, and connections is all that it's about. And anything else, there isn't anything else. That's it right there. Having open space where you can have a new adventure, see new things on a regular basis and have that opportunity can make a profound difference in a family's life. She bites. She's smelling you right now, but she certainly doesn't think it would be something good to eat. So the opportunity for leisure, to find peace in a place like this, and then maybe on another day to not, not look for peace, but look for you know working your butt off and getting really good exercise on a regional trail. I think it's immeasurable what that value brings to our community. I was living in a shelter, me and my child. Things were very hard. I was constantly depressed and crying and wondering when I was going to be able to get my chance to do better in life. I just felt like giving up. But I knew I couldn't because I had my child. 
I've seen it happen a lot where there are small miracles involved when people get housing stability and then their lives start turning around. I don't think about it that often, I guess. We do some pretty good stuff here, you know. You, you come in and you do your job and you want to do it well, and you think you do it well, and you don't see always the big picture, maybe, but I think what we do is really good stuff.